Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott of Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some more Project Hospital. Our hospital is ready to open. It's two minutes past eight on day one and we need some staff. So to get some staff, we can click on, um, we can do something. We can click on the rooms and we can hire our staff member. So we need a janitor. Who are we going to bring in? Um, we need Jessica Hill. She seems quite cheap. She's very, she's almost, no, she's not dexterous at all. That's a lie. And she's not very efficient. We, we can see that the prices go up based on how, uh, how, um, how good they are. I guess we can go run of the mill here. We've got some unique hidden, hidden skills as well. So she's got a long commute and so can often be late, but moves much faster. Whereas this person's just slow. Um, this person, early bird, works much more efficient, efficiently. I think we'll get the late person in who who works hard. Um, you know, I think people are, are too obsessed with people being on time. Even when they get there, they don't do anything. Right. We need a receptionist. So Lisa Martinez is the expensive one. Although this other this other lady is very expensive. She's a hard worker. Does not take three times. What? We're going to get Lisa Martinez in. In you come, love. She's going to be our one receptionist for now. And then we need a couple, we'll get a couple of doctors to begin with. What are we looking for? We're looking for doctors who have um, good skills in, in diagnosis and general medicine, I guess. Um, I think that's that's the most important thing. So look at Margaret Cole down here. What a legend. She's 73. As good as she is, I think we're going to aim for a younger set of doctors. Um, Chris Brown is down here. Um, not sure about his bedside manner. Sorry. Um, right, okay. Um, let's get in Nancy Adams. In you come, Nancy. How do I hire you? There we go. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. And let's also get in... Um, you know what, I'd have been better off actually using this room because these ones are too far away from the waiting room for now. Um, what have we got here? Thomas Scott, you're terrible. You're absolutely terrible, but you're really cheap. Thomas, you're coming in. And you know what? what's happening thomas i don't know what way around their names are what one's first name what one's surname because thomas scott is very much like my name they could be uh so nancy adams scott doc okay so this is us this is our new our new doctor we are going to be doing the doctoring for this doctor that's what we're going to be doing so if i click on here doctor mode we can uh we can choose scott dog as our control doctor what we can also do is make Nancy down here. We can make Nancy the chief doctor because Scott Dog isn't ready to do that. She's there. Scott Dog is the young, up and coming Doogie Hauser MD. Um, are we missing any staff? That's the next question I have to ask. We've got janitors. We've got a receptionist. I think that's everything. I think that's all we need for now. What I like about this is very quickly you'll see these people playing solitaire. This good dude is looking at YouTube, I think not sure this this not doing anything over here but we should start seeing people and this this fella is coming in so two things that i should point out first off if you go to reception speak to the receptionist she does some triage she gets some information about your illness so when they go into the doctor they're not completely sort of unaware of any kind of condition they don't just walk in and say um you know he's he's the he's a patient they will do some sort of some pre-work for us um, whereas if they go to this thing, they'll just literally walk in, press this button, and then we won't get any information from them prior to this. So there's an argument between getting rid of this and just having a doctor straight up. But uh, I think I think this just dinged. Did I hear this ding? I think you're going in to be seen by the doctor. So here we go. You're going in. What doctor? You're going to see Dr. Scott Dog. Unlucky for you, my friend. But this is where we get to try and diagnose the problem. So we're going to get an interview. The interview will be done. You know, when you go in to see the doctor and they start talking to you, what, what's wrong with you? Um, you sit down, you tell them all the things, you try and put on that dodgy voice to make it sound worse than it is. Um, and then um, the doctor's going to the doctor's gonna say, oh, you've got some tenderness. Oh my goodness, that's all we know. We've got two symptoms. One is tenderness and one is hidden. We don't know anything else about the rest of it. And it could be one of nine illnesses we've discovered. It could be tennis elbow, it could be shingles, it could be some other things that I can't pronounce. Uh, so we're going to have to do some more examination. So we can do a physical examination. We can do a neck palpitation, which is that thing where they, they feel your, your glands, I think. We can, uh, we can check his chest out. 
we'll save that for that we won't uh, we could do some speech listening i think it makes sense in this in incident incident in this instance to do a physical exam so that's what we're going to do next we're going to watch as uh, james brown get on up is going to come over here and sit on the sit on the desk on the chair we should have put some paper down to to stop any any uh, any illnesses diseases infections getting on this chair for the next person but then we're going to start checking out his chest and poking him with the old stethoscope and doing all that fun stuff and we'll see if we get any more symptoms we might get another one we might not um have we got any more patients come in no this is the only one james brown is is the only one who's come to us oh no here we go here's another dude this dude is uh, christopher jackson we already know it's tonsillitis because she spoke to the receptionist that is a pretty good receptionist right okay okay so let's go back to our patient james brown we've had a feel we don't know anything new we don't know anything new other than he's got some tenderness it could be anything uh, we need to figure out something else so we're, we're straight from med school what should we do should we check out his tummy we don't know where the, we don't even know where the tenderness is um which is a bit of a problem uh we should check out his temperature i think that makes sense um i think we should also do i don't know what some of these things are so we should check out his tummy just in case that's where the tenderness is uh, we should check out his oral cavities and then we could do this um is a diagnostic test based on quick blood test measuring concentration of c-reactive protein uh, inflammatory and infectious causes so i think we're going to do a neck and a crp bear in mind all of these things we're doing we're not getting paid for i was meant to check out the uh the um insurance so we need to treat one patient per day at the emergency we're doing that as long as we can find a reason for this person to be ill and give them a treatment we can send him home and get paid but Nancy's going to be on the case with this dude. So we're going to keep an eye on, on James Brown. It'll be interesting to know if Nancy does anything or just says, you've got tonsillitis, get out. It'll be interesting to know if she does anything. So she's doing a little interview and she's getting the, the other symptoms. So what's interesting about this is she did... Uh, th they came in and they, they already knew that it was tonsillitis as soon as they spoke to the receptionist. Um, but she's got he's got seven other symptoms that are hidden. He's got more than that um, that we've uncovered. So there was about nine, I think. So... Bearing that in mind, we could uncover something else which makes it a completely different diagnosis. What else have we got going on? So we're doing our oral cavity inspection. We've done our CRP. We still haven't found the second the second Ill, you know, symptom. How are we going to find what that symptom is? We've got other things that we can do and we're going to head straight down the road of doing every single test available to us from the get-go on James Brown. What we could do is assign him to a different doctor and find out if she does anything different. Um, but uh, we still haven't found the symptom yet. We're going to sit back down. We're going to throw the swabs in the in the bin. And we're going to sit back down and prod him a little bit more, I guess. Yep, we'll use some disinfectant. I like that. Okay, now we're checking his, now we're checking his neck. I like this, the fact that the animations are pretty much doing what they're doing is so it's so good i love it in terms of the detail of what it is um i mean it's not good for me because i know nothing about doctoring um but now what do we do if we don't uncover anything from this i'm i'm almost at a, at a loss we can do check his chest um we still haven't got anything new i think i'm going to add chest to this and we'll do the speech and listening this will be huge amount of tests on this first patient to try and figure out what the hell's wrong with him we've got people waiting and we still don't know she's uh, written a prescription for this dude definitely tonsillitis although there's free hidden symptoms we've done what we needed to do we're up to 40 grand because we've got a 20k um, payment and now we've got another one open a radiology clinic if we open this clinic uh, we'll get another 3,000 big ones uh, 30,000 big ones sorry okay so we're still going on with our tests. We're the worst doctor in the world. We are terrible. Look at us. We're we're fifty percent rating from the last two last patients. We've only had one patient, and that patient is like, "You've done all these tests on me. You've got no idea what the hell's wrong with me." We've told him to put his shirt back on. We still don't know. We're going to speak to him now and see if anything comes from there. We've got nothing else. I think we're going to have to move him to a different doctor and see if she's got anything else. But what else could what else could he be doing? We could, um, we could do this to remove, relieve some pain. Um, but we don't know where that pain's come from. We don't know the cause of the problem. We just know the symptom. 
Are we going to get anything from the speech and listening? No, we've got nothing. We've got one test left, which is blood pressure. Um, that's all we're going to be able to do. And then once we've done the blood pressure, we're going to we're going to send him off to the other doctor. This is terrible. Our first patient, we've got no idea what's wrong with him. We just made 80 bucks from treating this person. Uh, and if we have a look, 100% rating. 50% rating. We've only had one patient. He's unsure about what we're... Even if we're qualified. It's a bit unfortunate, this. Just think, if he'd, if he'd have gone to Nancy, she'd have probably solved the, the conundrum by now. Okay. We've got nothing. We've got absolutely nothing. What we're going to say is we want you to go to Nancy. Because we're not sure what's wrong with you. Get a second opinion and we'll, we'll leave you to Nancy. Because Nancy's got a better job or a better chance of knowing what is wrong with you. God, what a tough day for our first our first um, patient. Let's see if we can do better with this one. We've got no symptoms for this one. They've not been to the doctor, sorry, to the receptionist. So we don't know what's wrong with them at all. We've got no idea. We're just going to have to hope that some of the tests that we do, some of the checks and the interviews and stuff that we do is going to give us an idea. That's all we've got. Dizziness. Okay. So we, just from our talk, we know that she's dizzy and a loss of appetite. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to check the uh, the physical exam and do the abdominal. Um, again, I, I guess the physical is you might find some kind of rash. You might find anything sort of tenderness around joints that the, maybe the patient hasn't realized themselves. We've had a total of 10 patients in. Um, oh no, we've treated a total of 10 patients. We've got two patients waiting. Okay. I'm really intrigued. I think we're going to put a star next to this dude's name somewhere. Um, I know you can do that somewhere. Oh, I don't know if we can. Can we pin them? Let's pin them. Okay. We're going to keep an eye on James Brown. Oh, no, it stays in the list. So I'm intrigued to find out if we if we get anything from James Brown. What have we got going on here? Have we got anything new? Can you imagine how good we're going to be when we're a real doctor? When we've done some training. Um, so we have done some tests. We've, we've already figured out that it's beef tapeworm. However, there is one symptom that's unknown um, here. It'd be nice if we figure that out from the abdominal check. But uh, what, we, what we can tell you is that beef tapeworm, the treatment is, is anaphylmintics. Anaphylmintics. Anatilmentics. Don't know what these are. Pills that are used the treatment of tapeworm and infections. I've never had any of those. But what we said is our diagnosis is tapeworm. We're going to give you this as treatment. We're going to click OK. And once we've given you a prescription, you're out of here. Um, 160 bucks this is going to earn us. Um, and there we go. The insurance company, happy with what we've done. We can take on another insurance company. They're going to send more patients to us. Um, but um, we're going to get more money. So we're done with you. You can leave if you want. We're still waiting for this dude to come back in. We've got another patient down here. I don't know if any of them... Oh, so it looks like some of them are going to... Uh... Oh, this dude's still having to wait. I feel a bit sorry for him. Um, but is what it is. And here's our first patient that we treated. They're going. They're going home. We've got um, some new things. We need to open a radiology clinic. That's going to be really expensive, in all honesty. We know that's going to be really expensive because you need a weight an x-ray room. Uh, and x-ray machines, from what I know of hospitals, x-ray machines, not cheap. Um, x-ray, here we go. How much is this? Nine grand. Holy crap balls. And that's not including the rest of the stuff that you need to be able to, uh, to, to use. Um, you know, like the x-ray viewer, which is 300 quid. Jeez, I'll just put a light on the wall, mate. Okay, doctor mode. Let's get back. You're going home. Okay, James Brown. Oh, he's leaving, I think. James Brown is... Oh, no, he's, he's coming back in. I thought we sent you to a different doctor, James Brown. Okay, I know I could I could take a gamble here. I could treat him for, for, for something, right? I could treat him for something, but I've got nothing. I've genuinely got nothing. I think we're going to have to send you to a different department send you to a different hospital i think that's what we're gonna have to do i'm sorry james brown i have nothing for you my uh my doctor skills 97 percent but 
you need to go somewhere where they can do other tests on you because the information that you've given us is she thinking about me in the toilet who's in the toilet oh what oh i see i'm going to the toilet i wasn't thinking about me in the toilet okay that makes more sense okay let's unpin you we're back to being a doctor we've got a patient waiting who have we got um this is judy rodriguez uh, she's going to be our next patient um and we'll we'll see if we can diagnose her quicker than the the penult the previous one or the one before that um but uh we'll have to see what we do and then we'll then we'll focus on making radiology i guess that should be our next area of of improvement um and uh, all of those things that come with a radiology department let's have a look while we're waiting for our our client so we can get an x-ray room i think this means that they are required there's the red zero then these i think are optional i think is how it works so as you can see we can get a, an x-ray machine but we might want to get an mri and a ct room um and a cardiology unit um and then you know and this is all of the stuff that you might want to do radiology however i think what they say is the only things you really need is an x-ray machine and a waiting room and that's what we'll focus on first of all we'll just build those bits um okay let's get rid of you how do i how do i get rid of you okay we're waiting for our next patient to come in here she comes judy you're in safe hands don't you worry dr scott dog is on the case i don't know about these doors opening out we could have an accident she's gonna go use cubicle one as well i'd give it a minute if i was you nancy right okay <laughs> oh god um right let's have a look at how our our interview goes we're having a little chat she's got a cut on her hand no itching she's itchy um okay where does it itch uh, she's got crumbly nails we're pretty sure this is athlete's foot we could just do a physical exam and i think we will just to be belt and braces about it we'll get your feet out i get the feeling she's just going to take a top off but get your feet out you know where i was saying how the animations are so good Get your feet out. We'll have a look at them. Okay, we think it's your foot, but we're going to check the rest of you out, which seems a little creepy, but it is what it is. Um, so we've got pretty sure that this is athlete's foot. We're not going to inspect the foot. We're going to say it's athlete's foot. And you can have some antifungal ointment um, with your crumbly nail and your itchy. Uh, and once this is done, we'll give you a prescription and we'll tell you to get on out of here because we're all good. Okay, this dude's coming in um daniel king i wonder what's wrong with you mate but we'll figure that out later okay judy rodriguez you've got athlete's foot love you should make sure you keep your feet dry and in your socks all right that's the way that's the way you you avoid athlete's foot everybody don't put your socks on after you've had a shower if you go out for a walk or a run and your feet get wet make sure you have a shower and then dry your feet properly and then put your socks on all right there you go it's fungus just just keep the fungus from growing in your feet um also you should often change your shoes anyway procedures are finished for a diagnosed patient uh we need to send you the f on home there you go 160 bucks we make the big bucks around here who's next we've got another another female this is carol foster um when you're ready carol come on in she's already had a, a chat with a receptionist she's got a chest injury and breathing problems this sounds to me like x-ray x-ray area we can see that it's chest contusion um is a bruise or we've got broken ribs it's very difficult to tell between broken ribs and bruising uh and cracked ribs as to what the issue is i know this because i i broke my ribs and it hurt like a bastard um okay so we're gonna have a little chat with her we're definitely gonna do this and we're definitely gonna do this she's got redness of the chest okay interesting she also got a bruise so we, we can kind of head towards the contusion but as i was saying very difficult to tell between broken ribs and and bruised ribs and cracked ribs i mean to be honest the treatment for most of them is very similar i think they just they may give you some painkillers but they'll tell you to to just rest it but also to make sure you're taking in deep breaths because if you don't you get like sediment in your lungs um most painful thing coughing sneezing laughing don't do any of those things um so numbing ointment versus compression wraps i don't know if they do compression wraps anymore with with broken ribs but i think we're going to struggle here i don't think we're going to be able to tell i don't think we're going to be able to tell without going um for uh for um without doing broken ribs I, an x-ray i think we need it i think we need an x-ray for this lady 
And I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So again, we haven't got an answer. We've got We've got nothing we need to get a to get our X-rayed. Um, special case review that reduces the amount of possible diagnoses uh, can only be performed by a doctor with advanced diagnosis specialization. Have we got one of those? No, we haven't. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do with you is we're going to have to say, um, go to Nancy, right? I don't think this is the answer, but what we're going to do is we're going to work on our radiology department. That's the next step. That's what they want us to do. Um, we're going to do it. We're going to build it down here. So let's um let's have a think about what we need for our radiology department. We need a waiting room, which we can we can put in fairly easily. And we need a X-ray machine. So that can be um five by five. So let's do something like this. That's going to be our X-ray machine room but i think we're going to add a little bit on extra because they need a little room to hide in don't they you know what those those x-ray people do these cheeky little buggers they hide behind a wall um i think we'll get a waiting room along this wall here i know we need to do something with the walls but we'll get an x-ray machine in here sorry a waiting room in here um and i guess we'll just go for one for now we need a foundation i guess we just put one in Let's put our foundation in here. Let's get a wall in so we know on the outside we're having this one. Okay. Now this is radiology. I think radiology should be a different color. I think radiology should have a different color. I can't speak. Radiology should have a different color floor. Let's go with let's go with this horrible orangey color. Okay. There we go. We've got a new radiology floor. I'd like it if we could get some uh, some signage up, but this is what radiology looks like. If you're heading over this way, you know that you're in radiology, you lucky, lucky devils. Um, let's get this. And it's, is it this one? I think it's this one. There you go. You can have that. What are we can do about this area? We're going to change this to a waiting room. So we need to get rid of this wall entirely. I guess get rid of this wall as well. There we go. Um, and then we want some flooring down. So we know that this floor is going to be like so. Because this is a waiting room. Don't need a huge waiting room for, room for radiology. We just need just need the one, I think. Um, okay. We need a wall colouring for our radiology. Now, I guess that everything has to be covered in aluminium, right? Is that how it works in radiology? I don't know. It's lead, isn't it? Is that is that what is that what you use? I think it's lead. I think I may have made a terrible error. Okay. Let's get you down there. Um, and you along here. And I guess aluminium again. I don't know how I feel about all these walls being aluminium, but that's how it is. Okay. Right, good. What do we want? We want a flooring. Let's do something a little bit, a little bit different. Let's do, lovely. Okay, so we need a door, but I think we should put the stuff in the x-ray room first to figure out what happens. So the x-ray machine, let's put that, if the waiting room's here, let's put that over here. What else do we need? An equi equipment cupboard, we'll put those along the back wall because we need a little room for them to go and stand in, in safely, right? Um. Can I move this this way a little bit? I can, good. Okay, so that's that. We need a desk. We need a PC. We need the x-ray viewer. We need an office chair. Do we need anything else? The x-ray control panel. We need to put that over here, I think. Okay, good. Do we need anything else? Do you want a little dresser thing I don't know if that works a privacy screen we'll have one of those I don't know if it makes any difference really um, okay and then we want a is that, this is the only wall it can be right oh can I put windows up is that a thing I, surely I can just put 
So these up. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do you coming across here like so. And then in here we want a watch window, right? And then we want some doors. Um, is there an x-ray door? Here we go. This is what we want. And one here as well. Opening inwards. Okay, good. So you come in here, you can have your x-ray done. Is that everything I need for an x-ray room? I think so. And a waiting room. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. We need to hire a radiologist. Okay. Um, you're all pretty terrible as it goes. I think we're going to bring you in. There you go. Okay. Radiology is open. We need some waiting room stuff. So let's do this. Let's get some benches in. Oh no, there isn't any of the, the horrible colour that we're going for. That's bad news. Okay, can we... I don't suppose I can get anything in this corner here. We can probably put a plant in there. Uh, we can probably put some posters up. I mean, no one can read them here, but... Tennis elbow, that seems like a an appropriate thing to have over there. Um... Is there any signage to tell people that oh here we go i think this is this is stuff right this this is stuff that we want um is there a radiology sign am i just missing it i can't see anything that looks like a radiology sign maybe i'm just being a, a numpty autopsy room we won't put that on the wall that will freak people out here we go this is what we want right Let's get that here and here. There we go. So everybody knows that this is the x-ray room. Perfect. Okay, good. So I think now, now you're done, we can send you to the x-ray. Perfect. And we'll get you back as... We'll get you back as a Scott dog. And we want you to go get x-rayed. Perfect. I don't know if we need a little a little machine over here for the waiting room. I don't know if we need one of click on this again. And let's click on this. I don't know if we need one of these. But let's get one just in case. There we go. Okay, good. Where's she going? She's she's heading into the We've already got someone in here. Get out. Right, I think she's she either going to come sit back down here or she's going to head over to the um, the waiting room. I wonder if she's going to walk through. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, she's going to walk through here. She's going to go and sit down at the uh, at the desk for her X-ray. Old uh, James Hall is going to come out. I like his tash. He's going to come out and and have a little look. We need to get back to Jordan Hill before the end of the episode. We need to figure out what's wrong with him. He's got limited leg motion, a bruise and pain. Again, we've got loads of possibilities. It could be two pages of possible diagnoses. Um, and we need to do some stuff. So let's do a physical examination. And then after that, I reckon we're going to head down the road of an x-ray. Um, so here comes here comes Carol. We don't know about her ribs. Her ribs are, her ribs are a little bit dodgy. Um, I think she's going to go behind this. Oh no, we're going to do a standing x-ray. Fine. I'm guessing you probably need to take your bra off if you're having your chest x-rayed. But that's not happening here, which I guess is fine. Here we go. Any moment now. Any moment now we're about to do an x-ray. Our first x-ray, everybody. I think it happened. Don't move. I think that's what he's saying. Stand still. We need to take a picture of you. Okay. Okay. I don't know how we got the print. Process is finished. Okay. What have we got for you? Uh, all we've got is an x-ray. We're sending you for an x-ray, buddy. Uh, and we'll get back to Carol. So he's he's investigating this. You know what? There's a couple of things I want to do. Um, first off, it annoys me that there wasn't a printer here. Can I put this on any... Why can't I put this down? There we go. 
It annoys me there wasn't a printer. I'm, I know you don't print x-rays from a printer, um, but that's what we're doing, all right? That's how it works. Uh, and then I guess... I feel like we want something in this room. We'll get a diploma, obviously. Just so you can see that he's actually a, a real doctor. And we'll put a mug down. Um, do we want a plant? Let's have a plant. And... Let's have a little skull. Perfect. I feel feel much better about that now. Are we taking more x-rays? Oh no, this machine's reset. So, you can put your clothes back on. Um, you can go and see your doctor. I've uploaded all your pictures um, to to the PC. He'll be able to uh, he'll be able to tell you what the problem is now. Any second now, we're going to know whether it's broken ribs or a chest contusion. Any second now. There we go. Just a contusion. You don't need to worry about it. Just broken. I mean, it still hurts, but not as much as it not as much as it could. All right. Um, I think we're going to need more doctors. Let's go and have a little look here. Oh, look. Would you believe we already know that the broken ribs and and an area we've got similar sorts of things. I think what we should do is is having problems breathing and there's three other symptoms. We should probably do a, a a physical examination and then depending on the results of that, we'll send you to this. Just in case it's something more major. I don't know if they can ever get a new symptoms which brings up new diagnosis. I'm guessing so. <laughs> I like the fact that, that the, the doctor I'm playing is a gamer. Okay, I think we're done here, everybody. We're, we've got old uh, Jordan Hill over here being being looked at. We've got Carol down here who's waiting for a doctor to to be cool but we know it's a chest contusion so we can we can give her the treatment here and we know it's a numbing ointment so there you go you can go and get your treatment and you'll be out of our hair and you're a gamer as well carol nice um and you swear a lot no you're a tourist so slower communication um but then we'll send you home carol foster the curious case of carol foster is done the uh christopher lee situation we're just doing our physical examination um and then we'll have a little then we'll have a little look uh, and see if we get anything new but there you go end of the episode thank you very much for watching we've got no choice but to send christopher lee for his x-ray off you go buddy we did discover some more um some more symptoms but there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying this i have to say we didn't do much this episode we built an x-ray machine and then we tried to diagnose patients but i think that's one of the things i like about this game this is kind of a building game um but you get the you get the opportunity to stop for a second and just slow down and start doing some of the diagnosis stuff uh, all fairly straightforward uh, i'm sure as you get more departments it gets more complicated um is this carol we're about to send carol home we'll just watch us print carol's prescription and send her home uh christopher lee oh sorry jordan hill is over here christopher lee's over here getting his x-ray but there we go 320 dollars that cost for her let's have a quick look our doctor rating is 92 percent um Diagnostic percentage, uh, percentage 3%. Can we... No study room. So we can improve our skills if if we uh, if we get better. But what I would say is it looks like our skill has gone up to 1%. We're an intern. It's difficult. Nancy hasn't had to have a chat with us and tell us that we're rubbish. Uh, so that's quite nice. We're having a quick break. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.